Hello everyone, welcome to problem 2.35 of the David Griffiths Electrodynamics. So this problem says, there's a fourth way of computing the energy of a uniformly charged solid sphere. So last problem we, did, we went through three different types of, uh, there's three different equations that we derived in the book, I guess, and uh, we found the energy stored in a solid sphere three different ways. But there's a fourth way, um, and is it to assemble it like a snowball. So you know, making it layer by layer. So each time you bring in a charge, um, a tiny amount of charge dq, and you smear it over the sphere, therefore, therefore increasing the radius of the sphere by a small amount. So how much work, dw, how much tiny amount of work does it take to build, to, does it take to build up the radius by an amount dr? And then once you find that how much work it takes to increase the radius by a small amount dr, integrate that to find the work necessary to create the entire sphere of radius r and a total charge of q. So let's just say that we have um, some uh, tiny, let's say we already have some amount of charge built up, right? Some, some, some tiny sphere. We don't have our total sphere yet. So let's say we want to build it up to, oops, uh, it's kind of a bad picture, but let's say the final radius we want to get our charge, um, our sphere out to is like this dotted radius here. So we want to build it up to, to a radius of, uh, I don't know, let's say this is big R, right? This is a radius of big R. And let me just kind of move this stuff down. So we already have some charge, sort of charge sphere made, and we want to increase the amount of charge on this sphere by a small amount dq and it has on it a charge of q q bar right now i call it q bar and the radius of it is little r right now and so if we if we want to increase the radius of this by dr you know we have to add on some charge dq bar uh to get so so the work right the the differential amount of work needed to increase it would be um the, the total amount of charge uh, Q prime, or the, the charge on it right now, uh, Q bar, right? That's the, the amount of charge currently times the um, potential, or actually, sorry, this would be DQ, sorry, DQ bar, right? Because we're bringing in a charge DQ, and we're going to smear it over this uh, to the sphere here so the, and then we multiply that by the potential that's created by our sphere that we have at the moment so that's V okay so what is the potential V at the moment right so the potential V would be um, 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught and we're talking about the potential outside of the sphere right because we're bringing charge from outside the sphere and onto the surface of the sphere so it'd be 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught um, and it would just be the charge Q bar that exists on the sphere at the moment divided by the radius little r. So that would be the potential um, of the sphere currently. And what is dQ bar? That is the differential amount of charge on the, uh, that we're bringing in. So we need to figure out what is dQ bar. Well, what is Q bar? How can we express Q bar in some other some other way? Well, that would be the charge density rho, right? If it's a uniformly charged, it's a uniformly charged sphere, so it has some charge density rho, and times the volume of the sphere at the moment. So that'd be four thirds. Uh, pi times little r cubed. So then dq bar, some differential, some tiny amount of charge change that we're bringing in, you know, with respect to the radius, would be, uh, oops, rho uh, four thirds pi uh, times three r squared. So the threes cancel. And we get uh, 4 pi 
row r squared. So this is a dq bar. This is um, this would be equal to the amount of charge that we're bringing in. Um, the, the small amount of change in charge that we're bringing in to increase it by a radius of, oh, I forgot, sorry. I forgot dr here, right? Because I took it with respect to dr, dq dr, when I multiply the dr over. So this would be equal to the, the tiny amount of charge to, incre to, to increase it by some tiny amount of radius dr. This is that. So we have v and we have dq, so we can plug that in to give us what the, the change in work is going to be, So, which is the first part of our problem. So dw then equals, let me, so it would be q bar over 4 pi epsilon naught, um, but I'm going to plug in q bar, I think. So let's see. So I'm just going to write this out. So we have 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. We're going to have to do some cancellations of stuff. And then we have Q bar over R. So Q bar is rho. Um, so we have rho times 4 thirds pi R cubed. And then we divide by R. So that's the first part. And we multiply by um, DQ bar which is four pi rho r squared dr. Four pi rho r squared dr. So let's cancel some stuff. Um, so what can we do here? So this r is gonna cancel with um, that and make it a squared. However, that squared, that squared. So, so dw equals well, this 4 can cancel with one of those 4s. This pi can cancel with that pi. We get rho squared. Right? Rho squared. Um, I guess we have a 4 pi still from here. Over epsilon naught. Oh, and there's a 3 from the 4 thirds. We have a 3 epsilon naught. And then r squared times r squared. We have r to the 4th dr. I think that's right. Did I miss anything? Mm, I think that's right. So I think this would be equivalent to... The, this would be the, the the amount of work needed to increase the radius by an amount dr. And I guess you could write this, if you wanted to instead write it in terms of the charge q, um, you could. So, uh, But now let's integrate this from going from 0 to a radius r, capital R, our final radius, to see what the total amount of work is to assemble this. So the total work W would be the integral of DW, right? And if we write this out, so I'm going to pull out our constants, rho squared, 4 pi over 3 epsilon naught. R goes from 0 to capital R. We have R to the 4th. R, which is very simple. This is um, R to the fifth over five. So um, actually, did I let me let me double check this? Yeah. Okay. I'm just double checking some things. So let's write this out. So rho squared four pi over three epsilon naught, and we end up with uh, capital R, I'm just gonna evaluate the bounds because the lower bound is zero, so 
it doesn't it's just zero so we have r to the fifth power divided by five now i think and that would make this um, have a total charge of q so let's write our charge density in terms of the chart the total charge of q and see what that gives us in, in terms of that so again this should be equivalent to so rho squared so rho is going to be total charge q over 4 pi epsilon naught so it's going to be q squared over 4 thirds pi r cubed squared times 4 pi over 3 epsilon naught times r to the fifth over 5 so we're gonna have to kind of do some simplification here so um, I guess we can multiply out the stuff on the bottom so we'll have 16 pi squared r to the sixth then we have this that's gonna be 16 ninths um, so I guess this will 9 come to the top we have 4 pi uh, over 3 epsilon naught um, r to the fifth power over 5. So we have a lot going on here. So 1, this pi cancels with this pi on the bottom. 2, all these r's cancel with 5 of those and we just left with 1 r on the bottom. Uh, this 3 cancels and makes just a 3. So we get 3q squared. This 4 cancels and makes that a 4. So we get 3q squared divided by 4 pi epsilon naught um, 5r, which is exactly what we got on the previous problems. So yeah, this, in, this indeed, uh, you know, you can think of finding the energy of a solid sphere of radius r by essentially like building it layer by layer and if you know the energy to increase the radius by a small amount dr then you can integrate over that to get the total work to increase the radius to a radius of capital r and that does agree with our results from the previous problem where we did three other ways of calculating the energy stored in the sphere so all of these methods uh, work perfectly fine they are valid um, so yeah, it's just whatever whatever equation best fits your needs for your, your problem. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful. And if you guys enjoy, please feel free to leave me some comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe and subscribe to the Patreon account if you guys want access to the PDF files for um, the solutions. So yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.